Before you start working with Foundation for Emails, you will need to install Node.js and JIT. So this is the website, Node.js.org, and I'm going to be installing this version 4.4.5. And also I'm going to be downloading JIT. You can click here, download for Windows. Next, I'm going to open the downloads folder and I'm going to open the installer for node. I'm going to click here on run and I'm going to click next. Accept the terms and click next again. Next. And I'm going to left the defaults. So I'm going to click next. Install. And let's click here on yes. This will install Node.js in our computer. And you can see that Node.js has been installed. I'm going to click here on finish. And I'm going to open the command prompt. So type cmd right here. Open the desktop. Command prompt. And here I'm going to type node dash b. And you can see we have the version 4.4.5. When you install Node, it comes with npm, so you can type npm b, as you can see here. And this is the version that we have for npm. And npm will be helpful, so we can install other packages. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open now the JIT installer. Click here on Run. And I'm going to click Yes. Click next, next, and I'm going to add an icon here on the desktop. Click next, next here, and here I'm going to be using the, the, layer, the last option. And here I'm going to select the first one, next, and I'm going to select the second one here. I'm going to uncheck this and click on install and this will install JIT in our computers and this step may take a while so let's wait until it finish installing JIT in our computer and you can see that JIT has been installed I'm gonna uncheck this and click finish let's open again the Windows command prompt cmd open the command prompt and here I'm gonna type JIT version and you can see we have the version 2.8.4 so now we have everything let's install two packages that we need one is called gulp and the other one is called bower so i'm gonna type npm install g gulp bower let's click enter so let's press enter and you can see that Bower and Gulp has been installed. You can see here we have these worms, but you don't have to worry. You can continue the course and you, you won't have any problems. Next, I'm going to install Foundation. So let's add npm install dash g so we can install this globally foundation dash cli. You have to make sure that there are no spaces here on the foundation CLI. So let's wait until it's finished installing. And now you can see we have installed foundation. I'm going to type foundation new. And now you can see we have these options. I'm going to select an email. And I'm going to name this front end. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to cd into the desktop before. So we can see the, the project right here. Then we add foundation new again. Let's select an email, the tier option. And this project is going to be called front end store. And this will install all the dependencies. That's why we install Bower. Bower will install the right version that foundation needs in order to work. 
I have to say that Foundation for Emails takes longer than other projects. So you don't have to, well, you only need some patience in this step. We are almost done installing Foundation for Emails. And now you can see that the project has been created. You can open this and you will find some files right here. We are going to explain how to use these files in the course. But now you have everything ready to start working with Foundation for Emails in your computer using Windows.